In this video, we will going to see how we can construct an OR gate using diode. Welcome to Physics Learning. In order to perform this experiment, we need one breath board. We need one multimeter in order to measure the output voltage. We need two diodes, one resistance and finally we need one 5 volt power supply. Now, first we need to construct this circuit. Okay, so let's construct this circuit. To construct this circuit, we first need to connect the diodes. We need to keep in mind that P side should be facing the inputs A and B. Okay, and N sides are connected together. Let's connect the N side using a wire. Now let's keep the positive terminal in the upper side of the board and black one is in the downside of the board. Now we need to connect the resistance. Let's connect the resistance. One end of resistance will go to the end side of the diodes and other end will go to ground. Our most of the connections are done. We just need to connect the multimeter for the measurement of output voltage. So black point, black side will go to the ground and red and the red side will go to the other end of the resistance. In order to provide the input, let's connect the diodes with wire which can be used to provide the input. So here yellow wire is connected to upper diode which is acting as terminal A. We are going to connect green wire which will act as a terminal B. Okay. Now switch on the power supply. In order to verify our OR gate, we need to make uh, this table. Okay. Here A is in volt, which we will apply to terminal A. B will be in volt, which we will apply to the terminal B. Okay. And we will take the output at terminal Y. Okay. So we need to connect uh, both A and B to the zero volt. Okay and try to measure the output voltage see when the input voltage is 0 0 output voltage is 0 now let's make b terminal as high voltage so we will going to connect it to the high end so output voltage is 4.62 a is 0 b is 5 and output is 4.62. Let's verify what is the input voltage exactly. Let's measure it down. Voltage is exactly 5.3 volt. Now you will think of where is rest of the voltage. Output voltage is 4.62. However, input voltage is 5.3. So this difference, which is of the order of 0.7 volt, is the voltage drop across the diode. Okay. So rest of voltage is coming to the resistance. Now connect A terminal to the high end and B terminal to the low end. So A is 5.3, B is 0 and output is 4.62. Now make both terminal to the high end. A is 5.3. B is also 5.3 and in that case output is 4.66. This is the data for input and output voltage for OR gate which we have constructed. Look at this data carefully. If we will going to define 0 to 0.8 volt as 0 state and 3 to maximum volt as 1 state then just by going through this definition we can extract out the truth table for OR gate. 
Just go by this definition and substitute the values for the corresponding voltage. Then you will find out this truth table 0000011111. This is exactly the truth table of an OR gate. That means we can say the circuit which we have constructed is the circuit for an OR gate. Let me explain how this circuit is working. Look at this circuit carefully. When both input A and B are at the low voltage, there is no current through any diode. Okay? And as there is no current through any diode, there is no current through the resistance. As a result, output voltage will be low. Right? If either input A or B is at high voltage, that means that particular diode will be in the forward bias configuration and current can flow through that corresponding diode. Since either diode is in conducting state, current can flow through the resistance and there is a voltage drop across the resistance. As a result, we will get high voltage at output. Right? If both inputs A and B are at high voltage, that means both diodes are in forward bias configuration. In this situation, current can flow through both diodes. Okay? And that current will pass through the resistance. As a result, there is a high output voltage. Okay? So, hope this explanation is clear to you and this experiment is clear to you. See you in the next video with some other topic. Till then, thank you.